In the year 2006, I was a 15-year-old man with a very serious problem. On one hand, for $30, a copy of God of War, widely hailed as the greatest video game of all time, released this year. On the other hand, for $15, a copy of Shadow of the Colossus, which left an additional $15 for purchase of an ice cream around the corner. In the end, the 100-degree weather outside won out, and Shadow of the Colossus, an ice cream it was. There is not a day of my life that goes by where I don't wonder how I would have turned out had I chosen otherwise. <laughs> now, of course, I did not merely purchase out of the Colossus because it was $15. I had heard about it before in corners of the internet, now long dead. Something about some Colossi, you had to kill them, blah, 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 standard video game stuff. So imagine my surprise when I put the game into my console and I'm treated to what I later realized was one of the most tasteful pieces of cinema I've ever seen. A man walks into a te forbidden temple with a dead girl in his arms and places her upon the altar. Bring her back. A voice comes down on high. The girl's fate was cursed. This is for the best. Bring her back. Again, the voice tries to try to dissuade him. It says, the path you are walking down cannot be returned from. Bring her back. The voice acquiesces. Say the 16 Colossi that roam this land, and we will talk. A simple enough quest. I board my mighty war horse, and I ride out across the plains. As I ride, I am struck by how empty this land is. This was not a land abandoned by war. This was people had purposely left here. As a man used to, video games' bright colors, it left me very unsettled. So eventually I arrived at the cliff, and it was here that I was treated to the first, last, and only tutorial in Shadow of the Colossus. Press R1 to climb the cliff. I pressed R1. I climbed the cliff. Congratulations, you have completed the Shadow of the Colossus video game tutorial. Enjoy the rest of the game. <laughs> Now, as I, now, when I reached the top of this cliff, I met the first Colossi, and for the first time in my illustrious video gaming career, I knew awe. This Colossi, this creature, its very footsteps left craters in the cliff that I had just climbed. <laughs> it took no, no more notice of me than you or I would of an ant. A wise man would have turned right around, gone back to the temple, and asked if we could start with a smaller Colossus. <laughs> but I was, at the time, not a terribly wise man. I fancied myself a goal-oriented man. Goal was 16 Colossi dead. One of them was right in front of me. So I climbed it. I located its conveniently mag glowing magical weak point, and I stabbed it. It did not like this. Uh, so I stabbed it again. It liked this stabbing even less. I stabbed it again, and on this stabbing, its opinion became quite irrelevant, for it died. It fell to the ground. As noble in death as any of you or I could ever hope to be, his black blood poured out upon the rocks, and I was moved. <laughs> You see, I was not going to be party to this. I was used to video games rewarding me when I killed stuff. I wasn't going to feel bad because I'd just beaten a boss. Screen fades to black, and I return to the temple. And there's a girl on the altar still. Your next show foe shall be. And so it goes. One by one, I hunted down each of these creatures. One by one, I climbed them, locating their conveniently mag glowing magical weak points. And one by one, I slaughtered them. For no reason other than some girl in some temple that I didn't even really know. <laughs> And so it goes, each time the same scene, the same remorse, the same renewal of purpose, until eventually I reached the final colossi. And this one, it dwarfed the others. It was huge. It just kept on going and going, and you just kept on climbing and climbing. And just when I think I had finally reached the top, I looked up and there was still more to climb. And so I kept on going and going and going, until eventually I did reach the top, and I could see the whole of the land. I could see one by one where each of the colossi had been killed. I could even see the temple where that mysterious girl lay. A more introspective man might have taken this opportunity to reflect upon what he had done, but I was at the time not a terribly introspective man. I fancied myself a goal-oriented man. <laughs> the 16th class I lay at my feet, once more I did my dark work. And once more, I was treated to the same scene, but this time, there was a sense of elation. For you see, this was the final colossi. Now it's time for the happy ending that I had so justly deserved, killing all these innocent creatures. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to spoil the ending of this game for you people, but suffice to say that as it played out before me, the only thing I could think of was that it doesn't end like this. Video games have happy endings, and I was furious. I raged as a child rages, for at the time, I was a child. <laughs> Looking back on it now, I see the agreement was 16 Colossi, and we'll talk. If I didn't like the outcome of those talks, well, I guess 
the moral of the story is, when dealing with elder gods, always get it in writing. <laughs> so, the conclusion to our little tale, that's a rather simple conclusion. The next time you or somebody you know says, video games, man, they're all just, you know, plumbers popping shrooms or gangsters killing hookers, I want you to think about what I've said to you this evening. Thank you.